everyone, so today we are doing a very exciting video. In this video, as you can see, we are going to be talking about drugstore fake tanners. So ever since summertime has started, I've gotten the comment a lot on what fake tanner I've been using because clearly I'm very pale naturally and in my summer videos I like to look a little bit more tan. So you guys have been asking me because clearly there has been a change in my tanness. I'm not trying to hide that it is fake. It is 100% fake. I can't tan for the life of me. I don't burn though. Well, I do once in a while, but I mainly just stay pale no matter what and I am a strong believer in sunblock so I do wear sunblock all the time. So I thought it would be a fun video to try out a whole bunch of drugstore fake tanners. If you guys know, I did do a series, and it's kind of still going on obviously, but where I tried like a whole bunch of drugstore foundations, then a whole bunch of drugstore concealers, and I kind of wanted to expand that series, so I think this would be considered the third episode in that series. So in this video, we are going to be trying five drugstore fake tanners and one not drugstore fake tanner. And I just want to say the fake tanner that I use in the majority of my videos is the Tarte Amazon clay but after doing this video I have some favorites that I will be using but anyways without further ado let's get into trying these fake tanners I really hope this video is helpful for anyone who is curious about this kind of thing and yeah let's hope I judge them good let's be okay so this is kind of funny because I know this whole video is all about drugstore fake tanners but actually the first one and the only one that isn't drugstore is the one we're trying first so that is the Loving Tan Deluxe Bronzing Mousse and I got mine in the shade Dark and this is professional strength, quick dry, and a natural olive color which is what I mainly look for. I don't like when the things are like orange and you kind of look like a Oompa Loompa. Claims to dry after 60 seconds and don't go in water for 6 hours and don't sweat. So I've been following Loving Tan on Instagram for probably three years now. So I'm really excited to finally try out their tanner because it looks amazing on their website. And this I'm pretty sure is around $40 to $50. So definitely not drugstore prices, but we're gonna be trying this one. This is the only one we're trying that is not drugstore. So I'm just gonna go ahead and shower and then we will apply. Okay, we're out. I'm gonna position this up just a little bit so that Nothing, nothing happens here, even higher. For this, I'm going to apply the way that you actually should. So when I was in the shower, I shaved and also exfoliated, so perfect. And I'm gonna do that for all of them. Wow, this is really close to flashing you. I'm just gonna take a little bit of lotion and I'm just gonna put that in the grooves, so on my kneecaps, on my elbows. Okay, the first demo is very much the longest because I'm kind of explaining how to put on fake tanner correctly for anyone who's wondering because I have gotten that question a lot. So not all of them take this long. This one definitely takes the longest. So I'm just going to apply it with this little ugly, <laughs> disgusting tart mitt. Okay, so it's obviously a foam. Wow, it smells really, really good. Okay, I look so dark. So now I'm going to put a little bit on my face. I actually think I'm going to put it with this we are a golden goddess okay so it says to let it sit for seven hours no sweating no water i'll see you guys then okay so it's officially the morning and i'm very dark <laughs> so i'm just gonna quickly rinse it off we'll see how it looks but right now it's pretty even it smells Great. It smells like vanilla extract, honestly, but the only issue is in between my fingers where I missed, it's super white. So when you're using this tanner, do not miss the spot, even if you don't think it's important. It is important. So I went ahead and made notes on every single fake tanner. So for my loving tan, the notes that I made was that it smells great, first of all. One huge plus that no other fake tanners that we try in this video actually have is that it's paraben and alcohol free, which is huge. I really think that that is almost worth paying a little bit more because it is a lot better for your skin. But I know not everyone is as worried about that, so, but that is good to say for this one. It dries not sticky, which is awesome. One negative though is that the tan is 
very dark and that is because I did get dark. It probably would have been smarter for me to get medium so when you do miss a spot it's pretty obvious. This one offers a great olive color. It's not orangey which is super nice like this is very natural looking and one last thing is the tan does last very well. I think all around I've got to give Loving Tan a 9.5 out of 10. This one was really impressive. Okay so we are on to the next tanner. It's been probably like a week or so since I applied the Loving Tan tanner so it's pretty much all gone now as you can see it's still a little bit darker but it's some of this is actually like a real tan as well so I'm just gonna you know also I look like so bad but so okay today we are going to be trying the Jergens natural glow instant sun flawless natural looking color instantly Deep Bronze Sunless Tanning Mousse. Here's what it looks like. This was only like $8, so a huge price difference from the Le Loving Tan one. And this, of course, is drugstore. We're getting into all the drugstore ones now. And it says it dries in 60 seconds. I'm gonna apply it the same way, but first I'm going to shower and exfoliate, and then I'll be out to try it. I'm really out of breath, because I was like laughing really hard at something, but okay, I'll be back. Okay, so I just finished in the shower. I exfoliated. I think I was able to get even more of the tan off. The rest of this I'm pretty sure is natural, so we'll just have to work from here. My shower drains make a bunch of noise. I'm going to put on some lotion on my kneecaps, elbows, and ankles. Basically anywhere where there's like nooks and crannies. <laughs> this one is a mousse as well. We just tried two mousses. Oh my goodness, it kind of smells like if banana was a chemical. Like, I can't believe how spot on that actually is. If banana was a chemical, this is what it would smell like. Okay, so right on the Loving Tan, it says no parabens, no alcohol. Whereas on this one, it's clear in the ingredients there is alcohol in this. So I'm going to avoid putting it on my face. Just because I don't really want the alcohol on my face. Here it is. It's not instantly as dark as the last one, but it definitely is a difference. Uh, I'm gonna go to sleep, so we'll see how it oxidizes overnight. Hopefully it goes olive rather than orange. Okay, so it's morning now. As you can see, it definitely got darker in the night, especially on my hands. You can see in here where I didn't put it. Look at that difference. It got very dark in the night. I will say one thing though that I didn't love was it never really dried. And if you guys use a lot of fake tanners, you know that some will dry and then it's less sticky to sleep in and the other ones won't dry and it feels kind of sticky and kind of like you've been in like a humid place or like you're in a humid room and you feel kind of like you're like sticking to the sheets as you can see the color is dark that's good and it's not super orange actually it's like pretty olive so that's nice okay this fake tanner was really difficult for me because it is a well-established brand and also it's kind of got the exact same idea as the Loving Tan one. It looks quite similar. Well, the mousse looked quite similar. And this was only $8.99 Canadian. So that is an insanely good price. If you could use this, you could be tan on a budget for so long. When I went to sleep, this stayed kind of sticky and I could feel like when I'd go like this, it was kind of like holding together a little bit. Nothing insane, not like glue, but like it was definitely sticky. It didn't dry down. The tan was olive color though, which was really nice. This wasn't orangey at all. Even though when I pumped out the mousse, I thought it did look a little bit orange it translated well on the skin. This one was also really easy to apply and I used it probably two times in total since making this video and it still is so full. This one as well, the tan lasts and it doesn't really separate. So that was good. I think I gotta give this one a seven out of 10 and the reason why for that, because it's pretty good on every front except that it doesn't dry, which I don't love. Like you have to rinse it off Otherwise, it'll stay sticky, which not a fan of, but some people won't care. So if you don't care, this one's probably a good one for you and an insanely good price, so. Okay, we are on to the third tanner. This is the L'Oreal Paris Sublime Bronze Self-Tanning Serum. Gives a medium natural tan, our longest lasting tan for up to two weeks. It was around $11, like $11.99, so pretty inexpensive. I'm gonna check the ingredients. Okay, so alcohol is the third ingredient, so not alcohol free. I think that will be a reoccurring thing. Flip it and see the directions. Cleanse and exfoliate. Done, I actually already did that. Here's the truth, I have a tan line. It's real! This is definitely different. The consistency is different than all the other ones. It's like a clear gel. 
definitely like a perfume that my grandma would wear, I guess. No hate to grandmas. Smells good. It's kind of hard to apply this type because you can't see like where you're putting it. I just can't really tell where I covered and where I didn't. But that also is a good thing because I can't tell where I've went. As in it dries completely smooth, not sticky. I don't think I'll have trouble sleeping with this on. I will say though one application did use up a lot of the bottle. With that math in mind, you'd get four applications out of this. So not very big which sucks, but we'll see how it works. So we'll see how it looks in the morning. See you guys then. Hello. Focus. Here's my tan. It honestly didn't get too dark. It's definitely like a natural looking tan. I really like it because it's olive looking. All right, so the L'Oreal Sublime Bronze. I was excited to try this one. It smells like perfume very much so. It was a really super quick application, which I liked because it, so, it glides on so smoothly. But the one negative that I put here is it was streaky in the fact that it stuck to like nook and cranny. That wasn't a real sentence. It kind of stuck to my knees and my elbows and my ankles, kind of making those parts of my body more darker. So I think it kind of grabs on to drier skin or like crevices. So I don't love that, but and also, as I wore it throughout the week, it got splotchy, as in where my skin was dry, it kind of separated. So I don't think this moisturizes your skin very well. So for that, I think I've got to give this one a 6 out of 10. It's not the best one I've found, so. Okay, you guys, so today we are trying the Life Brand Smooth Bronze Medium Self-Tanning Continuous Spray. I just got out of the shower and I actually used like an exfoliating mitt that's supposed to take off fake tan. And it didn't get it off super well off my neck because I didn't really go in too hard on my neck, but down my chest and really on my stomach and legs, I'm looking super white. So today we are trying a spray and this was around $14, I believe. But yeah, first spray we're gonna be trying. You're not supposed to rub it in, so. Oh my gosh, it's dripping. Oh my gosh. Oh my word. I have like drips falling off my arm. My floor is so slippery. It says not to put on clothes until it's dry and it's literally a liquid on me, so I have no idea how long this is gonna take. So, feels dry, a little sticky, but not too bad. So, I'm gonna go to sleep and we'll see how it is in the morning. As you can see, I definitely got darker. There's a lot of streakiness and I think it's just a product of me not really knowing where I'd sprayed because my whole body just felt soaking. I didn't know where I had been already. Just aren't very good and I don't know if it came off while I was sleeping or I just never had a chance to stay. The biggest no-go from me is look at the bottom of my feet. Oh wait, this is too difficult. Like dark, dark brown. So I must have like been stepping in the tan on the ground. So that was awesome on my account. And then we've got the life spray. It took like five seconds to apply, but then I was standing there just dripping and there were parts that were actually dripping down even though I was staying like the allotted distance away from the spray. But then I just stood there kind of like a scarecrow for 10 minutes and it did dry down for the most part in the backs of my knees and in my arms it didn't dry as much so when I would move it it would kind of be obvious with the nice olive color if you lifted up my foot it was brown basically and I think it's from spraying it it was all dripping down to under my feet so I don't know what the best way to apply this is I don't think it's the easiest but it is probably one of the quickest uh, I didn't love this though I don't know. And of course there is alcohol. There is alcohol in all of them except the Loving Tan one. So this one's kind of weird. If you like sprays, it gave a nice olive color, but this one wasn't my favorite. I think I'd have to give this one like a 6.5 out of 10. Not a huge fan of this one. It just was weird to apply. I just quickly want to come in here and say that this one actually ended up having an allergic reaction with my skin. It gave me like these little bumps and I've had that before with aerosol sunblock so it had the same effect so if you get that with aerosol sunblock or aerosols um that your skin gets little bumps the same thing will happen with this probably so 
So today we are trying the L'Oreal Paris Sublime Bronze Tinted Self Tanner in Medium. Oh wow, it's sparkly. Can you see that? It's really sparkly. Oh wow, it's instantly bronzing. It smells a lot like perfume. All right, I'm all tanned up. I will say it feels really sticky and I just am praying that that goes away a little bit just because I don't feel like being sticky tonight. I've been having terrible sleeps lately. Definitely gives a lot of sparkle. I wish the camera could pick up on, on the sparkle, but I will touch back in the morning. Morning after, I already showered and I just wanna say this tanner actually was amazing. The smell was very strong, but the color it gave me was very natural looking. It went more olive rather than orange. It did bunch up a little bit at my elbow, so you have to make sure to exfoliate if you're gonna use this one, but it's not streaky. This one was the first one actually that when I put it on, I had like some serious glittery sparkles all over my body. I guess within the mousse, it was also shimmery. It smell really strong, but I don't really think that you need to dock it on that unless you are really sensitive to fragrances. That is something to note. It dried completely in 10 minutes and the mousse actually instantly tanned me quite well. Again, though, there was glitter in it. I think for someone else who didn't react to it this one is actually a really good drugstore alternative to fake tanners okay so i'm here today to try why am i doing an intro this is the middle of the video so today we are trying the sun Thera 3 sunless and firm self tanning lotion here's what it looks like this was one at the drugstore that it was actually a little bit more. I think it was around $17.99, so we'll see for a little bit more if it's better. So I just took my makeup off, and I tied up my hair with a sock, actually, because I couldn't find my scrunchie, because I'm pretty sure my mom stole it, so... I feel like this video is taking me so long, by the time I post it, it won't even be summertime. It's really dark. That's a really dark mousse. Ooh, it smells good. It smells kind of like orange citrus, actually. Okay, let me make sure I'm not allergic to this. Kelp extract. Okay, weird, but okay. There we go. Instantly, I look way more bronzed and it definitely looks more olive, so I like that. I'm curious to see what this looks like in the morning, so we'll touch back. Okay, you guys, so first impression of this. I just woke up. It has an amazing color. It's really olive, as you can see the difference between my face and neck, because I've just been using it on my neck. But it's like a very nice olive, very comparable actually to the first tanner I tried, which I loved the color of that one. And this one really does dark me up nice, but it looks natural. The only thing though, after sleeping, it does smell pretty strong, so I'm gonna take a shower. I really like this one. Last but certainly not least, we have the Sun Therma Sunless and Firm Self Tanning. Of course, alcohol again is in here. When I first pumped it out, I was like impressed with how dark the, the mousse was, or sorry. I was impressed with how dark the lotion was. It instantly tanned me. Sometimes it takes like 12 hours for it to oxidize on you, but this one didn't. It happened like instantly. It dried in around seven to 10 minutes, so I just kind of had to sit there and wait. It's nothing like it didn't dry in 60 seconds. It definitely took a few minutes to dry. Honestly, there's not much to say about this one. It lasted really well, and I gotta give it a nine out of 10. The only thing that I'm docking it on is that it's not alcohol free, so. Okay, so that was me chatting about fake tanners for like 15 20 minutes. I really hope this video was helpful for you guys because I know I've been getting a lot of questions about it and I have hinted at this video in a few videos and people are curious to see it. So I hope it lived up to your guys' expectations. If you guys have a favorite fake tanner or drugstore fake tanner, either or, let me know down below because I'm always looking to get that tan. But yeah, I really hope this video was helpful. Like seriously, I really mean that. I do these videos to be informative, but I'm not the best judge. So hopefully it it helped you guys but either way thank you guys so so much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to click the subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next one bye